We didn't want it to be the same as any other sort of flash show. We had sort of decided to create classes that would inspire, but at the same time they couldn't intimidate people. I think, you know, they had to the sort of, you almost need to have a sort of a smile on your face. And there's 20 pounds and a mixture of pounds, pounds and 50 peas. And I've got to put these up as well for the stewards to wear. We were very lucky to get the WI involved because they are the sort of grassroots, I think, of these community shows and, and, and it's the same with garden societies and things. You can't really do it unless you have this sort of massive volunteer support. They become such a team, they're such a wonderful team that work together and they know all each other. And, it's, and for them, it's a day out. I mean, the, the minute the tent opened this morning when we started setting up, you know, for me, that's, that's the festival. It's, it's not just the results, it's the whole process of people coming in and having a cup of tea and having a chat. And you've sort of created a little social club, which I think is really sort of important. And, and the fact that afterwards people can come in and see all the work that people have done and, and have really sort of, you know, had a brilliant day sitting under canvas and building something that's sort of magical. You never know what's going to turn up. Something might turn up. I don't even like it. A whole elephant made out of thistles. extraordinary atmosphere I think to the whole festival and I kind of hope that the flower show is just another of those little jewels that's hidden away that for somebody to discover and, and that it is um, something that one you get joy from it and two I think you know what would be nice is next year people will come back and say well actually I'll have a go this time rather than just thinking oh no no it's not for me or I couldn't do it and because I believe actually everybody can do something that that you know you're all and if the only thing you get out of it is your own self-satisfaction, then that's perfect. I think that, that's a really wonderful thing. With one of the children's section, we decided to do an arrangement in a thimble for a tea party of mice. And the exhibit's extraordinary because it's really sort of some really beautiful work. And it's difficult arranging things in a thimble. It's another art form. I mean, you may not go so far as to say it's an art form, but it's certainly a creative expression. And that's what we very much wanted to encourage. It's not about being technically brilliant. It's not about perfect placement in oases. I can't do that. I'm rubbish at that. The arrangements and giving the classes, the kind of coming up with the class name was quite important to sort of give people a kind of kick them off in our kind of direction, which is basically probably a million miles away from most flower shows. We've been working on it for the last year. I'm really, really excited by it. I think it's, it's, it could be the start of something. First? I don't think that one should be first. The, the reason that I love this one, um, which is called the Grass Menagerie, is just the whole, the, well one, it's, it's humorous, but two, it's just the, the amount of work making all these little animals sort of unicorns and rabbits and cats and dogs. Are they doing the quince? I think they are. I think quince is... I think they might be crab apples. Uh, inside, oh yes, inside oh, yeah, the jar. Yes. Right, yes. That one at the end, I mean, it's just so simple. The Guinness Cup. It's brilliant. It's possibly not technically foliage, but you know, we're not following any rules, any our own. That's a good window, eh? I like that. Yeah, that's excellent. The potting shed door is particularly nice with the, um, with the, the onion hanging up just like it does in the yeah, actress Potter. And the herbs are all in perfect condition and they've made all the wood specially for the show and it's a little potting and it's just 
Absolutely charming, very English. The winner of the best child entry goes to Lottie Elliott, and it is the Rue St. German Perpetual Cannon Challenge Cup. Is Lottie here? Is Lottie here? Lottie not here? Okay. Well, we've got one more prize, and I know that person is here, because <clears throat> we, we've done a best in show, and the, the exhibit that won this was actually had a lot of humour in it, a lot of hard work in it, and sort of beautifully made and beautifully thought about. And the best in show goes to Heidi Peasley for In the Library. I gathered the stuff from the hedgerows at home literally just before I left and jumped into the car and then I arrived really really early not realising I couldn't get into the, the grounds until 10 o'clock so I had like two and a half hours to kill so I gathered some of the greenery from the Port Elliot estate sorry everybody pinching your stuff and um, so I, I spent two hours working on my display I've never entered a flower show before and I just put it together on a whim really and uh, it's won. I'm really amazed.